Hey everybody, so sorry. We have got to figure out how to do this on a laptop because we know some of you were waiting for us. I hope you're on with us now. Those of you that were waiting, maybe comment below that you were one of those waiting for the live and now you're on with us, so. Yeah, we'll give it a little bit until those come over because we tried to schedule the video the live in advance and we just don't know how to do that yet so we've got to seek some help so we're become professionals at it so, all right jessica you're been, on thank you yay that's one that i know that was waiting so i'm hoping more find us there's someone on instagram you want to put on instagram that we had to start another one um it would they'll find it they'll oh well they'll look yeah so all right Hey, I bought my glasses so I can see the Hicks Homestead says hello. Hi, Hicks Homestead. Good to have you with Jennifer, us tonight. Jennifer, Mr. Kodakat. Ooh, that's Nick. Nick, good to have you with you. Uh, that's so awesome. And Jacob. Jacob. Tell us where you guys are from, too. Cindy, hi. Kendra. Mac Zoo from Phoenix, Ken not far from us. Kendra's so good about commenting all the I time. Know. From that's awesome from phoenix and michigan michigan that's it's already kind of late there isn't it i don't know what time is it in michigan let us know oh cool jacob you saw us on the flakes video that's awesome alabama from the hicks homestead says kathy kendra's in kansas i love having my glasses so i can see cindy says in indianapolis, indianapolis illinois. illinois texas and or michigan for the, the drifter, drifter. <laughs> hey drifter thank you for watching blake's videos this week you've been so good to comment and be so kind Blake, Jenna, blake's feeling pretty good about all the kind comments yeah. you guys have made so jennifer and cindy it's late where you guys are max awesome. zoo we won't hold it against you that you're kim's uh sister <laughs> just kidding we love we kim. love kim Oklahoma, Richmond, Virginia. I can't, we have 13 people on. We're getting up there. I can't tell you how honored we are that so many people get on and are so kind. And we just feel bad that you were waiting on us and that we couldn't figure out our technology. So we're on the phone again and I'm holding it. And so it's not as steady as it could be. But anyway, how's the fall doing? which one <laughs> we'll talk, <laughs> We're about, talk that about all tonight. our animals tonight so hopefully that is included for your answer oh Rana, right here in joseph city <laughs> yay good to have you on my first live with you jennifer thank you so this is exciting there's a lot of people there's more yeah. more on now than there was i've watched blake's videos we don't uh, think i've been communicating or commenting yeah. enjoying them very much thank you that's awesome He's comment because he loves it. They love comments. It's made him feel really good. So. And actually, if we can talk him into it, Blake will go live with you next Saturday. And we'll tell you about his experience in Utah. And you can ask mm -hmm. questions about that. Hopefully our series of Blake training colts and, and working in Utah will be, all those videos will be up and you can ask questions about that. Yeah. So. Jacob's wondering about the two horses that you bought at the auction that day actually is what he's asking about oh those two foals I'm trying to think which ones those were you're gonna find out tonight <laughs> vicky asked me today how many horses we have and i started counting and anyway he wasn't even sure i'm so <laughs> we have a lot of a lot of um horses and we do a lot of projects around here so i'm trying to think the last time we went to the auction Oh, those two. Yeah, you came home. Well, I did. They were right before Blake left for Utah. We did very well. Um, Blake left to Utah, and we had not had them started yet. It's like a quarter to eight here. Yep. And so I mm. actually found someone to buy them, and we doubled our money and didn't even have to do anything with them. So um, we didn't, as far as a project, we didn't do a whole lot with them but I was a little overwhelmed just doing the chores and stuff with Blake gone. And so we sold them yep. and made some uh, decent money on them. And hopefully they have some great homes now. So I hear the goats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you Jacob, do. Yes, you can. In the background, you'll hear goats. I even see Blake swinging the rope, being a goofball, uh, 
because he knows mom and dad are <laughs> trying to be focused. Here, Blake, say hi to everyone. Come on, Blake. People are asking about you. Come on up here. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I told him you may go live next Saturday. Do they have a commitment from you? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> all right that's that's a pretty good commitment from a 15 year old yeah, so. not bad at all we'll plan on it hey you want to go get the tripod hey blake get the tripod of of bryson's that may help my arm not go dead here <laughs> okay okay what does it say what does the go look like that um looks like a cat <laughs> that's a good question if you watch the rodeo read video it's a little pygmy and it's fast and little and so i was impressed that reed from rodeo reed roped the thing and then even more impressed by the healer who was able to heal yeah both. i wonder who that was <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway <laughs> kind of fun i want to see the goats we will have to do a video we haven't of done the goats. We haven't videos done a goat of the video. goats as much lately actually a, great one. a lot of them are out at a friend's house right now eight of them the friend said hey i've got a ton of weeds and uh, would you mind bringing the goats over and they what have is a, that the patterson's oh cool oh yeah we need to count them in our yeah animal you have count to count tonight. all the animals tonight Ooh, this he is might be sleeping on the couch <laughs> <laughs> i'm teasing yes jacob come to arizona and visit uh, I want to see the goats also. So we got some goat okay. lovers here. We've got to show goats. Sounds next. good. Um, we're, we're getting through Blake's videos right now. So as soon as that series of Utah is over, we'll start showing you guys some other stuff. Yep. Don't forget to give this live. To uh, like this live Like tonight. this live tonight. Yeah, Thank you. we would you. love for you to like it. Yeah, like it share it um subscribe to our channel i'm sure all of you that are watching probably have so that's wonderful and um how close are we to the grand canyon we're about two hours two and a half isn't that sad that we don't know exactly i mean it's one of the seven wonders <laughs> of the been world there, though. we have been there oh blake's helping me get a tripod set up here oops try it again all right bear with us here if all right let's Oops. Want to help us, bud? All right. Perfect. Thank Perfecto you. De Bob. Perfecto, Perfecto de Bob. Perfecto de Bob. <laughs> if you've watched our channel, you know that... Now, we may have to lean forward, though, to see some of these comments. Spencer, good to see you. That's so fun. Spencer, um, I remember fishing and killing a rattlesnake with you one time, so uh, <laughs> we could bring yes. back all kinds of memories here. This is great. That's awesome. Anyways, we're about two and a half hours from the Grand Canyon. Yeah. So oh, that's, sorry. That's I, I get, I'm like Dory. I get um, distracted. <laughs> and anyway, so, well, we're excited to be live with you tonight. We're going to give away this $100 gift card. Many of you, what were the things you asked them to do again? You, so, um, I don't remember the specifics, but it was, it had to do with Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. And I dug through all three of those areas and we have a bunch of entries in here. Edwin, thank you for watching our channel. I know I am Dory. Uh, Jessica's like Dory too. So, so. Uh, yeah, we so we got tons of people who have. Uh, oops, uh, oh, three of them fell them. out. I promise I'll put your names back in. There you go. All right, they're all, all in. Okay. Anyway, at the end of our live, we will give away this hundred dollar gift card. We appreciate those of you that have done all those different challenges some of you did many of the challenges so your name may be in there more than once so thank you for doing that and we hope that you'll stay on the live with us for the evening and learn how many animals we have and what we have because i'm really interested too in knowing <laughs> but i am going to say right now you don't have to be on live to win so i have it marked where i found your name and how you entered and i will go back and reach out to you through one of those avenues so in the background you may hear a train right now i didn't realize it might be a little loud out here um, we do live on route the old route 66 but that's right next to the i-40 and the railroad and so we don't even notice the trains until all of a sudden you're doing a live and then you're like whoa it's kind of loud down there so anyway and someone asked if we had pigs we'll we'll talk about it later we don't right now so it won't be included in our animal count but we go through spurts of having pigs. We'll decide we need some 
pork and we'll raise a pig for a while and then we get tired of pigs and we don't but right now we don't have pigs yeah if you have to feed pigs store-bought food we found out that it, they are not very cost effective for us maybe some of the rest of you know how to do it but where I live in Jay Hill, we can also hear the train. Yeah, but I think we can hear it through yep. the whole town. Our pygmy goats teeny. Yes, they are teeny. Uh, if you watch the Rodeo Reed roping video, uh, Reed Flake and I roped one that was just a little teeny guy. It literally is the size of, there's cats probably as, big cats are probably yeah. about the size of that little goat. So. so so anyway, tonight we're going to go through how many animals we have on the farm, and honestly, we don't know. So, so uh, I have a paper, so I can write it down because I'm curious. Want, <laughs> Vicky wants to know how many animals we have on the farm. It literally started, we weren't sure what we were going to do the live on tonight, but Alan came in the house from working outside today, and I said he had bought some more animals today, and I said, how many horses do, you own right, do we own right now? And he's like, uh, I don't know. And he started counting. And I'm like, okay, let's do a live and count how many animals we have. All right. Someone just from Vermont. This is so cool. Um, YouTube has just opened my eyes to... Those of you that watch our channel know we are very God-fearing, faith-loving people. And uh, we believe we're all God's children. And it feels like we've just brought brothers and sisters together from all over the world. It's been really fun. And that's cool, Kendra, Kendra. shows pigs, and they are the best thing ever. That is awesome. Kendra teaches how to to make them cost-effective, maybe. Our, our older kids showed pigs in yeah. 4-H. So. Sorry, I'm squinting because I don't have my glasses on. Jacob, he'll bring us stuff from Illinois. It's awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so. Okay, so we're going to go through okay, our animals. If go. you have questions about the animals, like I say, we're trying to come up with a count, but you may have a question about them, and that would be great. So, can't, we can't. Um, Hicks Family Farm. You know um, what, Hicks? Communicate with us through Instagram. Go yeah. find us on Instagram, and we'll talk. Man, and these comments are coming in so fast. I, I don't know if we can go back and look at them. Is there a way to go back? Yeah, and there okay. Is. So we'll try to address some of your comments later. Someone asked if they were going to see the animals tonight. It's dark here on the farm. We're actually sitting underneath our porch. Those are our back windows right into our house right there. And so you're not going to see them tonight, but I think we need to do a farm tour that includes all the animals pretty soon. And I think that, that would, would be, be kind fun. of fun. So we can say, okay, we have got this many animals and we'll try to show all those animals. That's a good idea. Okay, so we'll start up here by the house. We have... <laughs> three female dogs Bella Missy and Bailey and Bella and Missy are golden retrievers purebred golden retrievers and Bailey is a golden doodle and we raise golden doodle puppies so our, our poodle stud our, our male dog his name is Jasper and so so I did I mention all, all four of our adult dogs we have <laughs> Bella, Missy, Bailey, and Jasper. So there's four. Hey, Mark. We're so glad you're here. Ma we, Mark is Mark's so good to awesome. uh, support our channel and comment every day, I think. He's yeah, been awesome. He's... So anyway, um, now, Missy. So four adult dogs so far. Or no, Bailey. Are they loose? That's a good question. We Go for it. We live on eight acres, seven and a half acres, and we take turns with them being loose <laughs> but every day they run at least two or three times a day if not all day and they stay right here on the farm and and normally our female dogs are loose but when their hormones get the best of them and they start fighting we have to maybe lock up one at a time oh, which is right now <laughs> yeah right now so bailey had 14 puppies two weeks ago so those are f1b golden doodles and um there's so out of the 14 though five of them were stillborn so we have yeah, 14 we yeah shocked. Drip, thank you the drip. <laughs> so um anyway jacob wants to see the dog we'd have dog videos on our channel so go back and check those out we'll be doing some more soon <clears throat> hey natalie and kylie. kylie morris hi grandpa palmer wow thank you kylie <laughs> would embarrass me right now I'm but Missouri. anyway 
That's one of my students. He's Kong. gray. He's grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> and our grandson is in it. Maybe at the end we yeah, could. I, I don't know if we'll be able to because he's awake. He may be eating or something. Um, but anyway, so of the 14 puppies, nine were alive. And of those nine, seven are, are boys and two are girls. And they're so. F1B Golden Doodles. And so if any of you. So want you a golden doodle mm -hmm. puppy uh, contact us tell tell them what a gold yeah, f1b so, is and so we raise f1 and f1b and so we'll tell you the difference between the two as we describe these but f1 golden doodles is the mom is a golden retriever and the dad is a poodle so you have half and half and so those puppies come out some come out more straight hair like the mom and some come out a little more curly like the dad like the poodle but those are f1 the f1b dogs are the mom is a golden doodle so half a half and half and the dad is a poodle so you get three quarters of the poodle in these puppies and they're a lot more curly and hypoallergenic and so people that have allergies really like the f1b dogs compared to the f1 they're, they're all amazing dogs, family dogs, and they're pretty popular right now. And so, anyway, if anyone knows someone that wants an F or an F1 or an F1B Golden Doodle. Yes, Dad is a standard poodle. Yep. And he um, recently got a haircut. His video is on one of our past videos about him getting a haircut. So. Yeah, go back and look at for one of our videos about the haircut. I don't remember. Is that what we called it? I don't Something remember, like that? But it's, yeah. Or it's, puppy makeover. Or I don't know what it was called. But anyway. Yeah. The thumbnail is a picture of Jasper before he was groomed and after he was groomed. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of scary because of COVID. It <laughs> took a while to get his grooming. So Bailey, a dog worth more than my pig. Okay. <laughs> they are worth they are worth some money. <laughs> Drifter, I, I drive one of those pickups, so I know what you're talking about. Um, okay, so we got nine he healthy, wonderful F1B puppies right now, and you'll see some videos soon with our puppies. Then Missy had ten puppies a week later. So we have Alan only thought there was nine, but thanks to YouTube, a video we posted, we had some people tell us there was ten, and we had to go back and count, and they were right. Jacob, my wife wears glasses, but you may need glasses too. <laughs> Jacob just said we look young, so thank you, Jacob. Yeah, that's but, kind. Um, so anyway, so we have nineteen puppies right now. So ten F ones so. and four adult dogs. So we're at twenty-three animals. Yep, 23 <coughs> Sorry. dogs. And we haven't left the house yet. Okay. <laughs> now, those of you that watch our channel know that, and Vicki even asked me this today. She said, man, maybe our channel needs to become a horse channel. No, Jacob, we don't have cats. Our dogs don't like them. Sorry. We've tried to get <laughs> barn cats before, but the dogs chase them off. And no. so we've never been successful having cats around here. But... Anyway, so we do a lot with horses. Um, my Pepto-Bunol stud is four years old and he came broke. And we don't ride him as much as we ought to with all the other horses we have around. He kind of just gets a wonderful job here on the farm of breeding girls and eating food. And so- <laughs> Yes, Natalie, Blake is back. He was out here just a few minutes ago. He'll do a live next Saturday for you guys. I'll be watching this week for a few more videos about yeah. his uh, Utah experience. Okay, back to his All animals. right, sorry, we may never get through these animals. <laughs> we have left the yard. We've left our back porch. Okay. That's where our puppies are, is up here by the house. But I started to say just that we do a lot with horses, and that is true. That's kind of my passion and Blake's passion. And, and our two older kids are married and out of the house. And... Um, so since Blake loves it and I love it and Blake's the one at home, we do a lot with horses and we do a lot of projects. We buy horses at the auction and Caitlin is still not married. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so maybe they're saying that because Blake's cute. I don't know. But um, anyway, so if you want to watch the, the questions, I don't, anyway. Okay, I'll keep watching for questions. So, with all these horses, we buy projects that we can um, get healthy or that we can get gentle or that we can break and start riding. 
plus we have kind of our keeper horses, the, the registered horses like Pepto, our Pepto Bismol stud named 66, we call him 66. And anyway, so let's go through our keeper horses for a minute. Okay. I'll, that's, that's what I'll call my, my keeper horses. Okay, the okay, ones have, that aren't leaving the farm. We have Chipper and she's Casey's horse and she's, she's our favorite. She's not leaving the farm. She's she'll never leave the farm. No, she's amazing. And if you want to go back and watch the video of Casey mounting a horse and jumping over the rear end of the horse, that's Chipper. Chipper's just amazing. She is in full. She should have a baby here in about a month. Chipper's the one that when we have friends come over to the farm that want to ride a ride ride a horse for an experience, they go on Chipper. So yep. every time. So there's Chipper, there's 66, the stallion. There's Lex, that's Levi, or Levi's. Sorry, Levi's my little brother, and I, I always call my Levi son. Levi and Blake look a lot alike. Yeah, and they have the same interests. But um, Blake's horse, Lex, has a baby right now. We have not named that baby permanently yet. You gave us some ideas, and I, I actually have turned some into AQHA, the American Quarter Horse Association, so we don't know what the the permanent registered name is going to come back. So Lex and her baby, we have Levi's horse. Levi is my brother and her baby. And we're feeding Levi's horse because we're splitting the baby that we're going to sell. Anyway, there's always a deal or some fun thing mm -hmm. going on. Then we have Darlin and her baby. And Darlin. You guys remember Darlin's baby's name? You helped us name her, so Darlin's Clementine. So Clementine is the baby, and Darlin is not our horse either. Again, kind of a fun story. We're uh, keeping Darlin, or we've kept her for almost two years. There was this couple that went on a mission, like a humanitarian type mission to Iraq. Iraq. And they really didn't want to get rid of their horse. And they called and said, would you please keep it for us and you can have the baby. And so we've kept this baby, this mare for them for a couple years and are getting one baby out of the deal. Yep. So, so those are our registered horses. Um, then we have Dusty. You'll see a video on Monday of me starting Dusty. I surprised Blake and actually started riding him for the first time while Blake was in Utah. So there's Dusty. Then we have um, Spirit. If you've watched the, the Disney movie Spirit, Blake has a pony that looks just like Spirit. And you've seen some videos maybe of Blake starting Spirit. We're loving him. Okay. Then Spirit is, is a project, but Blake has fallen in love with him. He's yeah. like, maybe someday my, grand, my kids will ride him. So I don't know what Blake will decide to do with Spirit. Probably depends on in the next 10 years if he needs to buy a wedding ring or something. <laughs> <laughs> Alan actually sold one of his favorite horses for my wedding ring. So you yeah. never know. And as you see, what we have so many projects that Blake may find a project that he likes better than Spirit. And like I said, there's our keeper horses and our project horses. Oh, that's cool, Kendra. Kendra's little brother loves the movie Spirit. So. Well, he'll love watching the videos about Spirit then because Spirit it really is awesome. Okay, so then we have, I'm thinking about where my different pastures are right now. We have Coco, though Coco's one of our keepers. <laughs> Oops. Coco's a two-year-old out of Lex, Blake's horse, and she is a beautiful Palomino, and you've probably seen her in some of our videos. And she just got bred to 66, so yep. she'll have a roan baby next summer. Yeah, we are so excited. She's, she is a pretty, pretty horse. She is. And then we have Salt and Pepper. Salt and Pepper <laughs> are our two donkeys. And they're in one of the pastures down there with these horses. So, okay. Okay, we're up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen horses. That are keepers? Holy smokes. <laughs> well, not all <laughs> of those. A lot of... <laughs> Remember, Darlin's going to her home. Okay. Levi's, Levi's horse will go to its okay. home. And, so there's and, at least and nine, we'll sell nine a few keepers babies. there. Okay, so then in the past 
couple days. <laughs> well, while Blake was gone, Awesome Spirit was Shaylee's favorite movie for years. She still loves it. Um, thank you for watching, Bushmans. Um, <laughs> so anyway, we have... Um, just since Blake left to Utah, I bought a couple projects, and I, I can't even go through the whole story because it's gone. It's been crazy. Yeah, there is a quiz at the end. <laughs> Drifter, if you could get it, get the answer right, we had to give you the hundred dollar gift card. <laughs> but anyway, so I bought a couple project horses while Blake was gone. One of them turned out to be a total idiot and was kind of scary. I was afraid it was going to hurt someone. <laughs> Drifter said, I'm taking it. Um, and anyway, it was a total idiot. And I, I don't keep really bad, scary horses around the property. It's just not worth it to me, no matter if there's money to be made or not. So so I traded that one, the, the crazy one, for a mule. So we have a young mule, if you want to write down its name. We don't have a name for him yet. So maybe you'll see a video of him soon and you can help us with his name. And then we got a little paint mare as a project horse also. She's two years old. I think she's in foal already. She was a wild horse off the Navajo reservation. She looks like she's in foal, but she's really small and kind of stunted in her growth, but she's a cute little thing and we're excited to see, see what we can do to find her a good home. Then today <laughs> I bought <laughs> three, this is why the three question other colts. Um, I got these babies for a good deal. And they're really, they're projects that need help. Yeah. So we're taking on, we want to help these little guys. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get them healthy and find new homes for them. Um, and you may see some videos of these coming up too. Then we bought, oh, leave, when Blake was up in Utah, he rode a mule and he worked for a guy that that likes mules brett if you're out there i don't know if you are but brett has become a, a great friend to blake he treated blake so well blake worked for him and blake came home kind of excited about the mule thing and so it didn't take much to get dad excited either so we ended up getting a, a mule today named poco <laughs> And Poco is es bueno. He's good. Poco bueno. Anyway, he's really good. Polygrip, the name. <laughs> Polygrip. I like that. The name for the mule. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we got Poco, the, the mule. And he's a 23-year-old mule, but gentle as can be. And we're just excited. Seven of Grizzly Adams. Number seven from Grizzly Adams. That's cool. <laughs> so, anyway. So can is you guys that, guess how many horses slash mule, mules, donkeys we're up to? Anyone guess? All right, Drifter, I've here's, the, here's the quiz. How many? <laughs> Just curious. And it's not for the gift card because we have to draw for that out of here. Oh, he did good. 19. Wow, Drifter. Oh, Vicky. What? On our way home from Fragosa Springs. Oh, God. <laughs> we saw the prettiest pasture of horses. And it was, There's going to be a video coming up in the next couple weeks the on The prettiest pasture of horses. And I was like drooling and Vicky said, well, let's go ahead and pull in there. And I was like, really? Okay, let's do it. And I we, didn't think we would buy any. <laughs> we we pulled were coming in. home from vacation. We had a family reunion in Pagosa Springs. And we buy horses on the way home. Oh, it was awesome. Um, these horses were beautiful. <laughs> We were there, we met the owner. Her name was Debbie, I believe. Um, anyway. Martin, her last name's Martin. And the nicest lady, probably 70 years old, 65 years old. And man, she knows her horses and she has the most beautiful horses. And anyway. Let's not count them because they're not on our property yet. Okay, they're not so on our property yet. We're gonna just let you guys be they in suspense on what we bought, but they are nice. Martin. They'll probably be keepers. Anyway. Oh, cool. Someone has family in Boulder. And Shaylee needs to come ride a horse. That would be fun, Adrian. So, anyway, kind of fun. We have two other horses, at least, coming from Pagosa. And they're beautiful Palomino studs. 
He looked at me at least because <laughs> he's hoping for more. They're colts. They're but beautiful. So we're gonna wait. We'll we'll show you some upcoming videos. All right, goats. I have no clue. Okay, we have our t we have two milk goats right now that we're currently milking. We have Nanny Claire and Brownie. We had more at the first of the season when some of you were watching our our videos and you noticed we were uh, raising a bunch of calves on goat's milk and even teaching the calves to nurse off the goats but but anyway right now we have two fresh milk goats we have one two three four five six other that's cool man. six Mark. other nannies nannies are girls some of those are dolings like younger nannies and then we have a couple older nannies then we have eight withers or belly goats and we keep a lot of billy goats because we actually raise thank you whoever just joined the live oh vicky's phone's saying it might die so we better hurry here so anyway um so how many goats do we have 16 16. so 19 horses 16 and, mule, and donkeys and mules how many 23 dogs yep and 16 goats Okay, then we have chickens. And I have no idea how to count the chickens. One chicken got off her nest the other day with 15 baby chicks. I've never seen a mama with so many chicks. It was awesome. <laughs> Cindy? Cindy? I don't know that I, I know you, but you know me very well. She obviously. asked if Alan has ever seen a horse that's not beautiful. <laughs> so. I just see the good in everything, so. <laughs> yeah, 15 chickens, Lori. All right, 15 yeah. baby chicks. Ba on 15 one mom. baby chicks with one mom. And so I'm guessing with those 15 plus all the adults, I was trying to count the roosters. I think we have 10 roosters right now. Cindy asked how we feed them all. Uh, we do raise, what do you call them? How do we feed all the animals or the chickens? <laughs> Good question. That's why I'm in trouble and probably going to sleep in the doghouse tonight. That's why they do these projects and they help animals and they sell them make a little bit of money and that's what pays for the feed <laughs> cindy i thought the trailer was on the trip yeah um <laughs> yeah we need to talk about getting a bigger trailer but anyway <laughs> so if our phone goes dead we're in trouble i don't know how how this is gonna go but it's at 20 percent. we should be okay okay so i would guess <laughs> that's why we can't afford pigs good statement <laughs> hicks homestead <laughs> there are priorities you know if you like your horses then i guess you don't do the pigs so but bacon tastes better than horses i would guess i don't know we're not gonna eat horses <laughs> anyways so, how many chickens just take i would say guessing. 50 chickens then this morning as i was feeding i realized man our pigeon her flock is getting huge I would guess we've got probably 30 pigeons right now. And if you wonder why we raise pigeons, go back and look at our video about raising pigeons because we actually love how they reproduce so often and they're beautiful flying around the farm and it's kind of fun. Have we named everything? Wait, do we have any cows right now? Oh, Tolman. Tolman, we bought a wild cow at the auction she was mean as could be. Oh, um, do you like red roan horses more than Jackson? Any other color? Ask if I like red roan horses. I wouldn't say red roan. Bay roans are my favorite. So Clementine is looking amazing, and we'll try to make a video of Clementine soon. And so bay roans are probably my favorite. But I love palominos. I love buckskins, and like I think it was Cindy said, have I ever seen a horse I didn't think was beautiful? It's hard. But wait till you see this field of color from Pagosa area. It was amazing. Yeah. Even I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful. Okay, back to cows. Okay, so Tolman. Uh, we, we bought um, Tolman's mom at the auction. <laughs> Thank you, Nick, for helping with that. Um, and we bought the mom at the auction and she was so wild like i told you what or animals that might hurt a kid or something we don't keep around the farm and so as soon as she had her baby we actually took her back to the auction 
and we kept her baby and raised it on a bottle and, and a goat and a goat so we, you could go check out those videos yeah <laughs> but tolman is kind of i right now we're thinking we'll keep him on the farm blake wants to actually train him to ride to ride yeah holy smokes or to pull a jackson cart or something. that's cool wow He's got over 400 goats we want to go visit your place yeah that's awesome message us where you live or if you have a youtube channel we can check you out or something that'd be fun yeah and what go find us it, on instagram and message us tell us what kind of goats you raise that'd be fun so have i forgot anything I, we've had a lot more cows but those have all been projects that we've bought and sold so but just one one cow one. no we have some cows in woodruff oh that's right we have okay. more animals. We have two steers that are out on pasture that will be coming home. Uh, someone had a lot of orchard grass under their orchard and and the horses and the goats eat the the trees but the cows don't and so they let me take some calves out there and put them under their orchard and that's Is that all you have out there? Working good. That's it right now. You had a mom and baby out there. Horse. No, we brought them back in. And I got and a I got a hundred horses. Wow, Jackson. Okay. We need to <laughs> become friends. Yeah, that would be well, fun. But then Maybe I, not. <laughs> I may buy more horses. Um Where are you so, from again? Yeah. Yeah. Jennifer San Jackson, get a YouTube channel and goats and are put popular. Your goats on there. So guys, you're amazing. How many animals do we have? Okay, every I want to see people's guesses. Dr why Drifter I... may have the exact. Drifter got the exact number of how many horses we have. Vicky's adding it up. We have a lot of animals, and when you ask about feeding them, yes, it does cost a lot of money. Hicks Homestead saying fifty four. Kindred saying seventy three. Drifter saying about sixty eight. Wendy Babcock saying 175. So including guessing on the chickens and the pigeons, we guessed 50 on the chickens and 30 on the pigeons. We are at a grand total of 141 animals. 141 animals. Um, that's that's not that many. We need to get oh, more. Gosh. Yeah, <laughs> Jackson has a lot more than us. <laughs> He's upped us. <laughs> Um, so. <laughs> so yes, we do a lot of the projects to hopefully make enough money to cover the feed, and maybe one day YouTube will. Whoa, I agree with you, us. Natalie. <laughs> She's like, whoa. <laughs> it is a lot. Hey, good guess. But Jessica. if you like animals, and if you want to watch our videos, you'll get to see a lot of these animals have babies, and we'll ride the animals, and we'll we'll play with the animals, we'll milk the animals, and we'll make goat cheese and anyway it'll be good so just real quick we um in the next week you're gonna see more of lake's utah trip and he'll wrap that up about the end of next week and then next saturday he'll do a live for you guys and talk he can answer some of your questions about his experience in utah that was amazing and then we have a few other videos planned, but we will get a farm tour and show you all of these animals coming up pretty soon. Someone just asked if we answer emails on this channel. We do. Yep. So email You're us at, email at the us. farm on route 66 at, at gmail.com. Gmail Jennifer said, watch us and help us be monetized. Thank you, Jennifer. We love and appreciate all of you. Yeah. If you guys don't mind. Casey's uh, saying hi. Oh, look at the family. <laughs> <laughs> our kids there's Blake That's and Casey awesome. and Bryson so three of our children right there so if you guys don't don't mind making sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell we would totally love it and share our videos just we'd love to get our farm out there more so if you could help us we would totally appreciate it but. Jackson just asked if I if we remember Reed are you talking about Reed Flake, or I don't know who you're talking about for sure, but anyway, guys, you're wonderful. So tell them about how this gift card came okay, about yeah. for those so, that don't remember. Keeping It Dutch, who is, they're an awesome channel. You guys could go check them out. 
gave this gift card to help the Walker Farm Fam, which is another awesome channel. Go check out. And they did a giveaway just like we are doing. And we actually won the giveaway. And so I have a bug in my ear. Sorry. Hey, we didn't count that on the farm. So we're yeah. up to 100. Well, if we want to count mosquitoes on the farm, we're going to be up a lot more. But anyways, the Walker Farm Fam did a giveaway and we won the giveaway. And when we got it, we were like, you know what? Let's pass it on. We totally appreciated the gift, but we wanted to pass it on to to one of our friends from the farm and that's one of you and so you can see here there's tons of names in here this is many of you who either shared or liked or um tagged friends there was all kinds of things you could do in the in the challenge we feel very blessed that we won that card but we did we feel like there's people out there that maybe could could use it more than we could and so this was a fun way to promote our channel but also to thank you and to maybe bless someone's life so do i get to do okay, it okay hold it up just get one can city slickers come ride your horses yes jason message us on instagram okay <laughs> this is fun just get one make sure you just have one do i only have one um yes you just have one okay our winner is i'll let vicky read it from Facebook, Joanne Mosier. She <laughs> entered on Facebook and she just won the $100 gift card. So Joanne, I will find you on Facebook and we will get this $100 gift card delivered to you. Congratulations. And thank you everyone for liking and sharing our posts and entering into our drawing, our thank, giveaway. Thank you so much. Someone just asked why we're selling the farm. I don't know what made you think that we're selling the farm. We're selling many of the animals that live on the farm, but, um, and maybe Vicki's gonna sell me after she found out <laughs> no, how never. many. Anyway, thanks for watching. You're wonderful. And we hope you'll tune in next Saturday to listen to Blake as he tells a little bit about his experience in Utah. And if you have questions for him, that'd be great. I'm sure you've already subscribed to our channel or else you wouldn't be watching this, but thank you and God bless. Yeah, God bless. You guys are awesome. Good night, y'all. <laughs>